Hello everybody and welcome to Klonoa Fantasy Revere series. If I'm pronouncing things incorrectly, I, I apologize. Klonoa is a game I've always, always wanted to play. But for them to do a remaster of the first two games, I am beyond excited. I've actually been really looking forward to this. So, I've never played Klonoa Door to the Phantom Mile? Phantom Meal? Phantom Mile? I don't know. But Klonoa 2, Lunetta's Veil. Vale. Again, pronouncing things wrong, I apologize. I played the demo to this. Remember when PS2 had those demo jam pack discs? I played the demo to this game a million times. I played it a ton, and I would always look for that game when we went out in the store trying to find it, and I could never find it in store. And I just realized he's got a Pac Man on his hat. <laughs> I just realized that. But I've always, always wanted to play this. The only Klonoa game I've actually played is the Game Boy Advance one. My cousin had it. Um, and also, if I ever call Klonoa Kalana, it's because I blame my cousin. Because that's what he used to call it. Um, but uh, very excited about Klonoa Door to the Phantom Mile. Um, and very excited to check it out. We're going to start with one, go into two. Um, I'm just, like I said, very excited about this. I want to make sure our what costume, normal. Um, port jump. Alright. Let's start it up. We're going to play it on easy. Skip, fast forward, hold the, I guess, start button. I don't know what that's actually called. And press RB to fast forward during an event scene. We're not going to do that. Grab a clock and clone up. Oh, okay, then. Uh, like, yeah, I'm very, very excited, though, for this. Strange. Sometimes I know I've had a dream. But I just can't remember it. Where do these dreams go? But I do remember this one dream, so clearly, as if I saw with my own eyes. Come on, Klonoa, I'm a slow reader. Jump, press A button. Dude. Why? What's the point of giving us tips if we can't read them? What? What was that? Came from. Sounds like something crashed. Just my dream. Go take a look, Klonoa. 
So if you press a button, it automatically skips. I'm used to playing neon white, so I gotta press a button to move the dialogue. With two players in support mode, support mode allows two players to join forces on an adventure. Press Y, blah, blah, add second player. Uh, well, that's kind of nice that you could use a second player to do that, but we are not. Gather up one other dream stones to gain an extra Klonoa. Blue dream stones are worth five green gemstones. Try to collect 150 dream stones in each stage. Press A to jump. If used well, it can use to dodge enemy attacks. Jump while Kanoa is holding an enemy. Press A. Okay. I was like, what was the way? There we go. I wonder they have a pathway there. Ow. Jerk. Can this go away? The jump thing? Save dreamers from their nightmares. In every vision, you'll find six phantom millions who have been trapped in nightmares. Find them and save them. Grab a clock and Klonoa will be fine. If Klonoa passes out, he'll restart at this place where to pick the clock. Box checkpoints. Good to know. Hold A while jumping to float in air. If you can go even higher, use a double jump. Okay. He's pretty straightforward. Holt, who goes there? Here, up here. How dare you go through my tower without paying your proper respects? Hold it right there. <laughs> Hey, kid. Shouldn't be sneaking around in here. Sorry. Hmm, apology accepted. I'm Baloo, the Mason. So you had to look at my beautiful... Oops. My masterpiece. Every you say that. I a lot of words I can't pronounce. Take the song of the rebirth. Never heard of her. Kidzy. You see this tower here? I'm building it so I can reach the Moon Kingdom, you see. Well, I'm glad I had a chance to read that. Oh, the text goes by really quick. Love Mike 9, nothing is impossible. Dove? Oh, I think we should get going. Is, is that little ball's name Hugh Pow? Yeah, the Klonoa games have been something I've always wanted to play. And just never... Crossroads. There are places with multiple paths. Path down 
progresses or the path up may have item. Items, you say? But yeah, Clono has always been a game that I've always really wanted to play. I'm very excited to finally being able to check this game out. Oops. Because these are games like there's some games that come out, it's like, I don't know if I'd like that, but like, the Klonoa games have been games, find Mirror Spirits and Dreamstones, when Mirror Spirit is accompanying Klonoa, each Dreamstone is worth double. Okay. Um. But no, I, I've always been like, uh, I've always thought Klonoa looks like a game that is a hundred and ten percent suited for me you know I like I've always thought that because it just looks so good like, it just looks like something that I would love and so far it, you know <laughs> I feel like I'm probably gonna be right about it like I said too as a kid I always wanted Klonoa too always wanted it I look for it all the time. I can never find it in store for PS2. Unlock the extra vision. The map will show you all the pantomillions you've rescued from the nightmares. <laughs> Save them all to unlock an extra vision. Okay. Moving on. I don't think these are very long games. Why the enemies come back so easy? Gotcha. Okay, so there's nothing up there. Alright, just double check in here. Now I'm going to go the same route I always do with these games. Which is... There is a possibility that I 100% the game. There's also a strong possibility that I don't. You know what I mean? It's just like... There's also a strong possibility that I don't. I'm just... These kind of games, I just play at my own pace. You know, kind of thing. And if I end up getting 100, I end up getting 100. If I don't, I don't. You know. That's the way I look at it.
Come on, flew him back up. What's in here? Checkpoint. Giant Moo. Throw enemies at these to defeat them. Take it. Hmm. Don't like that, or something's going to be hidden. for the mysterious seal. Go this way, though. I'm gonna get some of that stuff unlocked, don't we? myself and I when I left the thing. I could go back for it. Ooh, I left the thingy. Let's just kill this guys now. I got hit. Why did I get hit? We finally reached Bell Hill. I will say I have no idea how long these games are. Indeed, it is the diva. 
The peas? Well done, Joker. I'm honored, Gaddius. Go dark. Our dear diva. <laughs> Can't allow you to save the world with your little song of rebirth. After all, this world will have to. Cool. I love how creepy the voice is. Like ultra distorted and really weird. Oh my joke. Where's that pendant? The game looks great too so far. I like I really like the idea of remastering old games with like an updated skin. Hey, they kidnapped her. Sorry if I'm not reading this. I know normally I read these dialogue. But uh, they go kind of quick. Like, I can read in my head just fine, but reading them out loud, I'm a little slow. And they're going by pretty quick, so... The hell is that thing? Lost time? Aim for the rear. Run around to the back and throw an enemy at Rongo's Longo's rear. The weird boss fight. Dude, why is it sometimes you can hit them and other times you can't?
I kill him? Nice. Take that, Rongo Longo. Bongo Nongo. I don't, know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Hey, something fell. I love the voices in this because it sounds like they kept the old like retro files for them. So this whole part, I think we can skip. But I think it's going to be it for the first episode of Kalanoa and the Door to the Phantom Meal or whatever. Um, as we venture into the uh, Kalanoa game. I, like I said, I'm very excited to, to play through these games. So if you'd be so kind as press that thumbs up button and subscribe. It goes a long way in helping the channel out. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.